Hello and good morning. My name is Alan. I am 45 and I'm starting to code. Code 45. Okay. Now, why am I starting to code now? And what's made me get into coding? Well, it's fun. And well, when I first started, I basically had a website built for me a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago now, and it was a WordPress site. I had nothing, I knew nothing about web development, websites, WordPress, and all that. So he, he built, there was a friend of mine, he built me the website, and I played around with it. Obviously, when, when you own a website, you get to load content and load new images and update it yourself and stuff like that. So I dabbled, dabbled around WordPress a little bit, and then I actually made another WordPress website myself. Well, I think it was X, X theme I started with, and progressed from there with WordPress. And then now I'm starting into the the coding aspect. Basically, learn coding web from so. What made me get into coding? Well. Basically, the functionality of programming, and then you know, be able to write your own functions and stuff like that is where I want to find myself and lead myself to get to become a computer programmer. It'd be awesome, be excellent. So this is my trip or my way of becoming a computer programmer. Basically, so I'm starting to code. That's where to start. So. Here we are. So what are we going to do first and how are we going to do it and what are we going to do and all these new web technologies and people out there showing you this and that and the other and all professionals and they just know everything. That's great. But you want to learn that or do you want to learn from someone that's learning? I don't know. It's up to you. If you're here, maybe you do. If you don't, understand. Okay. But so basically, you will be on a tour of the way to becoming... Uh, computer program as well. We can learn together. Be awesome. The more the merrier. All right. So what we're going to learn first, or how we're going to get started first, is we're going to start a project. Best way to learn is to dive in and start doing it. So okay, what we're going to do is we're going to build a website from scratch, no CMS content management system, just straight code in a text editor using the browser to show us the end result. How do we do this? Well, we're going to need a text editor. I'm going to be using Atom. You can use Visual Studio Code. You can use Sublime. You can use Notepad++. You can use whatever you like. I have a few, actually. I have Atom, Visual Studio, and Notepad++, but I'm going to be using Atom. Okay, so what we'll do first to start our project, like any project you want to start, is using a notepad. I use I start with a notepad. Notepad. I'll get my notepad. I'll I'll get a file. Stomach's rumbling. I'm hungry. It's 9:53. Been up for a little while. I've had a cup of coffee and that's it. And then I've gone onto this and. I thought, you know, I've been watching all these docos. How about starting one from scratch? Them, you know, I can try one. Show people, get involved, people learning. Let's learn together. That's what I think. It'll be easier. All right. So what we're going to do? We're going to we're going to index.html. Sound familiar? Insects. Index.html. Like I said, learning. I'm not the greatest typer. All right, so we have an index.html. There it is. Get out of it. So what we want to do is open this in Atom. Oh, no, I don't. Get out of that. Look what it's done. Let's put every single desktop I've got. Let's make a folder. Let's keep things organized. Okay, let's call this learn 
in web web learning web development okay learning web development we drag and drop that in there and let's now open this in Adam and yes we have a folder with the HTML uh, index.html web development and what's in that folder absolutely nothing it's blank first stage this is the first stage of building a website your environment so to speak all right now I'm using Adam like I said Adam allows you to download all the packages you need I've downloaded various packages and we can have a quick squiz at my packages you need to if you want to use Adam well, I recommend you download the packages also it'll help you in your typing especially with the autocompletes they're awesome I mean it's 2017 you know they're the days of manually typing out your script, your tags, your, your code, even just on a notepad. I mean, I seen a job advertised the other day. Can you code in a notepad only? Well, thinking, what? Who does that anymore? I heard of text editors. Anyway, that's all my packages. Maybe there's something on packages another time, but you've had a quick squeeze. All right. Yeah, but who does that anymore? Code in uh, Notepad only. When you want to use a text editor, look, I mean, HTML. HT, I won't even put the M, I'll put the L. Enter. The magic of Adam, the internet. Use it. Why not? Anyway, maybe you don't. Maybe you just want to write, type in document type. And you, you know, that's, that's great too. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, like I said, 2017, we're advancing. Advance with it, I guess, I say. All right, anyway, enough chit-chat. So here, and any time we have an error, we're going to get a red dot, and it's, well, at least we'll underline so we know we have an error. And, well, it's not an error, it's just telling us to, that's it, must not be empty. So, okay, what are we going to write? We're going to write my first website okay now in the body tag also we'll, roll, we'll put a h1 tag same again just h1 enter anything you need just just enter we've got a h1 enter we want a h3 enter uh, we want a paragraph p enter you know anything you want you want a line break enter you want a input? Look, you don't even. Have, you can just click it. Input. And just you just fill it out. You want a button? Just all I went. Look, look, you want a button? So B. U. There it is. There I can just scroll down to it and hit enter. Or I can just half type button like that and press enter. And it fills it out. Button type, button, name, button, button, button. Awesome. Uh, we use some of that. Okay, in our body tag, we'll do a H, H1 tag. Uh, welcome to web. To development. Welcome to web development. My module one. Maybe module one will do uh, an 
an audit list and we'll apply the list and in the list we'll just do oh, I want to go we'll go let's go back we'll just write um lesson one I'll just copy and paste this now copy Paste. Paste. Okay, so we'll do that. Lesson one, lesson two, twelve, lesson two, lesson three. Okay, we'll just go lesson one, HTML. Lesson two, we'll do CSS. Lesson three, we'll do JavaScript. Well, okay. Another beauty thing about uh, Adam, the packages auto beautify. Just beautify it for me. There you go. Thank you very much. No, you must be able to type in a notepad only. Uh, bugger that. I can have that job. Not that I'm looking for a job, but... Uh, well, not yet. Um, okay, so what we want to do is we want to check this out. See what this actually looks like in, the, in a browser. So I need to control save. So I'll just hit control S, control save it. And what I'll do is just top that down, open that. Okay, voila! Bingo Bango was his name out. Welcome to Web Development Module 1, Lesson 1. And there we have it. Okay, so basically we've started our. So just keep that open. Got that open? Yeah. All right, so basically what we've done is we've just set up an environment. We've uh, created a folder, and then within the folder, we have an index.html page. And within that, we write the code that we want displayed in the page. All right, now that's it for this first tutorial, lesson one from many more but uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one the next one we'll put some styling we'll add, we'll add some CSS some bootstrap and we'll start to make it look a little prettier okay again thanks for watching see you in the next one